Hello, people. This issue that is being talked about all over the nation, the sex for great thing, I want to make my noise about it. I see people making all sorts of disparaging remarks, expressing very, very low opinion about the universities and the lecturers generally. Candidly, university is supposed to be a center of integrity, where brains are made, where souls and minds are developed. All these nasty things that have been talked about are not supposed to be. And uh, be that as it may, a situation where a lecturer will engage his student in any form of immoral act in an extent for academic favor of some sort is disgustingly dirty and deserves to be condemned that harshly, I suppose. Uh, however, uh, most of the comments I see, they are trying to emphasize the fact that the lecturer is the culprit while the student is the victim. Uh, I think no. You're not getting it right here. You're missing the point somewhere because the lecturer is not the victim. And the student is not the victim either. Uh, both of them are criminals. Uh, the actual victim is what you don't mention. Nobody cries for the real victim here. Because the actual victim, people, is the degree itself. It is the degree that is having its integrity being compromised and its legitimacy being eroded. The lecturer and the student are in cahoots in ruining the quality of the degree. And more often than not, these cases are not even initiated by the lecturers. In few cases, I believe, uh, you would have a lecturer of that kind advancing on a decent student for an indecent relationship. But by and large, these cases are initiated by the students themselves, because most of these students are weak. They will be busy with their uh, social activities while the semester was ongoing, and uh, they may not even bother to attend lectures and participate in the continuous assessment until towards the end of the semester you begin to see them wander around offices seeking for uh, undeserved favor of some sort and they may meet a lecturer with low spirit in the process, then communication begins, then the act, then fake marks are awarded, which lead to fake results, uh, which lead to fake degrees uh, at the end. So this is the problem we are in, uh, people. And uh, moreover, these students are so deteriorated to the point that they begin to consider examal practice as their right, and any vigilator who is up on his feet trying to stop them is the greatest enemy. So these children are ruined. They are long ruined and they are ruined somewhere suddenly outside the university. And it is the duty of the lecturers and the society generally to come together and rehabilitate those children. Uh, but some people out there in the society who are stuck against lecturers uh, are making a kind of a sweeping indictment against all lecturers, uh, uh, trying to make it look like uh, all lecturers are uh, uh, moving or running up with their zip down, so to speak, uh, uh, trying to get a chance to molest the students. This is a very, very wrong image here we are painting here because uh, there are a lot of good lecturers, I can tell you categorically, of uh, all require a toil in trying to shape the students. They sensitize the students against uh, all immoral acts. Uh, not only that, they take time outside their schedule to uh, counsel students with academic uh, difficulties and even give them extra training. Not only that, they teach the students some entrepreneurial uh, skills which they will develop often after graduation and, and become self-reliant. But these are silent. Uh, they don't go to media. And uh, these people, oh, they don't need uh, discouragement. What they need is encouragement. And all those derogatory comments uh, are kind of discouraging them. Uh, so, and uh, therefore I want to also remind those people that are doing a good job in trying to come up with a bill that will kind of uh, uh, specifically target sexual abuse in learning institutions. They should remember that the rot in the society is not confined only within the gates of the academic institutions. Uh, it goes beyond that because uh, if you go to the gates of any uh, university or polytechnic in the evening hours, you'll see uh, some of these exotic cars living. They are not lecturers. They are the so-called big men downtown coming to pick girls from hostels. And if you come back uh, the following morning around 6 to 7 a.m., you will see those girls coming back, but this time around on commercial bikes because they have served their purpose, no need to return them, however. So this happens, and in the last NBA conference, the 59th conference, uh, the, some of the discussions raised that issue of sexual harassment happening in the chambers, uh, where you have senior lawyers uh, uh, demanding for sex from the junior female lawyers before they assign cases to them. And they even argue that these habits extend to the courts, involving some of the big men there in the courts. And there are story of that uh, doctor from Sokoto 
who drug his patient, a married woman for that matter, and uh, mess up with her. So all these problems happen everywhere, people. And we are in a real problem. And we cannot get to the root of it all until we all come together and stop belittling ourselves indiscriminately about these issues. Uh, so that's my talk. Thank you.